that's from? Eating vegetables? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Eating animal products. Particularly dairy. <laughs> dairy goes right to your thighs. So animal products, that's where your saturated fats are, not your plant products. Although some plants have saturated fats of a different kind. Okay. You know about phospholipids? Phospholipids are fats with a phosphate group on them. It's two fatty acid chains with a phosphate functional group. Phospholipid bilayer. Remember plasma membranes phospholipid bilayer. What makes it a bilayer? Right. So it's got one end that's polar that likes water and one end that's nonpolar that hates water. Good. Cell membranes are phospholipids for the most part. They don't come apart because they don't associate with water. Lipids don't like water, including phospholipids. They don't like water. The fatty acid chains don't like water. The phosphate head, maybe, but the fatty acid chain doesn't like the water. Do you know how you make your macromolecules? Let's first talk about what are your organic macromolecules. Carbohydrates, proteins, fats or lipids, nucleic acids like RNA and DNA. How do you make them? You build them from taking other small molecules and putting the small molecules together to make big molecules. So your organic uh, your organic molecules are made by synthesis reactions, dehydration synthesis. You take small molecules, put them together. What's polysaccharide? Poly means many, saccharide means what? Sweet unit, yep, sweet unit. So a polysaccharide is many sweet units. What kind of an organic molecule would that be? Carbohydrate? Carbohydrate. Name an example of a carbohydrate. Glucose, fructose, lactose, are they carbohydrates? Yes. Are they, um, <clears throat> Polysaccharides, they're monosaccharides or disaccharides, right. Everybody remember what glycogen is? What's glycogen? Monosaccharide, polysaccharide? Polysaccharide, right. It's a complex carbohydrate for storing glucose, multiple units of glucose packed together into glycogen. Then when you need glucose, you break down your glycogen one molecule at a time and you get your glucose back. Amino acids, you need to know the structure of an amino acid. It's got an amino end, it's got an acid end, it's got the same root, and then it's got a functional group. That's where amino acids differ in the functional group. Make sure you look at the structure of an amino acid. The functional group is usually called the R group. Like the letter R. Okay, nucleic acids, DNA and RNA, are made up of monomer units called nucleotides. Nucleotides are made up of a small ribose sugar, a phosphate group, and a um, base, a uh, nitrogen-containing base or a nitrogenous base, A, C, T, or G. Remember the names? A and G are what? And C and T are what? Remember, Remember purine and pyrimidine? Yeah. Good. 
thymine and cytosine. The ones with a Y are pyrimidines, which also has a Y. Purines are adenine and guanine. What do they make up? Nucleotides, and what do nucleotides make up? Nucleic acids, so Colton's right. Purines and pyrimidines are in nucleic acids, also in nucleotides. Okay, know the difference between your DNA molecules and your RNA molecules? DNA contains A, C, T, and G. 